Today we're going to do a little bit of voice work, or play as I like to call it. We're going to review a few of our hummers and tappers, and we're going to talk about how we use vowels and how we can be heard from a really far distance away, okay? So first, remember our hummers and tappers, we have our M. Can you hum on your M a little bit? Good. And how about your N? Mm -hmm. And your V? Mm -hmm. And your Z? Go ahead and play it with me. Z -Z. Okay, good. So we're going to put those into words and we're going to pretend that there's a long string of M's at the end of the word or N or V or Z, okay? So here we go. Uh, how about hum? Good. And fun. And, uh, let's see, love, and fizz, good, good. So hopefully you're feeling some vibration, some little tickling here around your mouth. That is great because those little vibrations are what can be heard by other people. Especially if you're talking in your mask, if you're wearing a mask about you can be heard and understood much better if you use your consonants really well. Okay, so that's another little everyday thing that this is gonna help you with. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is our tappers. Remember our tappers, we've got T's and D's. So let's play those. Play your T, 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 t. and your D, t, 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 t. and your B, 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 b. and your P, b, 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 b. and how about your G? G, 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 and your K. K, 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 Good. So we have to, hopefully, let's try your K again. And I want you to put your hand on your stomach to see if you can feel your stomach going in and out. If you can, that means you're probably making a really good K sound. Okay? Here we go. Ready? K, 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 k. It takes a little bit more energy, doesn't it? Okay, good. So remember that. So let's put those into some words. How about hot can you say hot cold and how about hug and kick and hub and hop okay good so always when we're doing these i want you to really Feel that you're playing those. If you feel them, that's really good. If You don't have to worry about hearing them so well as if you feel them, okay? All right, we're gonna do another little nursery rhyme that has a lot of these consonants in them, okay? We're gonna make them especially, uh, especially strong, okay? So here we go. I want you to repeat every little phrase after me and I want you to do the movement that I do or your version of whatever movement you wanna do with it. Okay, here we go. Here's the first part. Peas porridge hot. Peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot. Nine days old. Good, good. Let's do that again, and we'll do it just a little bit faster. So you're gonna repeat after me, and we'll go clip, clip, clip. Okay, here we go. Peas porridge hot. Peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot. Nine days old. Good, awesome. I heard a lot of those P's and D's and T's and K's, good. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna work with vowels, okay? So sometimes we wanna save our, have our mouths really closed like this because we don't want anybody to hear what we're saying. But what we can do and what we should do on stage is really open our mouths for our vowels because that way we can be expressive. And if you've ever heard of Shakespeare, you kinda need to be a little expressive for Shakespeare, okay? So let's try to be really expressive. I want you to say, open your mouth as much as you can. Even think of a little bubble. Blow your bubble, pick it out of the sky, and put it in your mouth. 
So you have a little space in here, okay? I want you to say, ooh, oh, ah, uh -uh. aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. ow. Okay, good, good. Did you open your mouths really wide? And did you also let the vowel have a lot of time? That's what you need. So think of vowels need space and they need time. So we're gonna make them longer and we're gonna give them more space, okay? So let's put this in a nursery rhyme. We're gonna do a misty, moisty morning. You guys might remember this from last year, but I'll go slow and you can repeat after me for the first time, okay? Here we go, we're gonna put actions to it too. It was a misty, moisty morning, and cloudy was the weather. I met an old man dressed all in leather. He began to compliment and I began to grin. How do you do, and how do you do, and how do you do again? Okay, good, good. Now, if you guys know this, let's do it one more time, and you can do it at the same time I do it, so that you can kind of, I'll, I'll kind of help you through it. Okay, so here we go. Everybody together, you're gonna do it with me. It was a misty, moisty morning, and cloudy was the weather. I met an old man dressed all in leather. He began to compliment and I began to grin. How do you do and how do you do and how do you do again? Okay, good, bravo, that's great. Okay, so one more thing you can do to get yourself to open up, a really quick way, is to say, how now, brown cow? And then you're ready for Shakespeare. How about like, let's try this. To be or not to be, that is the question. Okay, good, good. And then for our last little bit we're gonna do, we're gonna work on what, what a lot of directors call projecting. But I don't like that word very much because what we do, we tend to force our voices and we tend to hurt our voices. So all we need to think of is calling across a space. If you've ever been to a baseball game, the guys selling popcorn are not going popcorn, popcorn. They're going popcorn, popcorn. They're going up in pitch. If you've ever sang a song, you know that going up in pitch is, it, it feels different, right? So our calling voice, our theater on stage voice is a little different than our everyday voice, maybe. So what I'd like you to do is step back, okay? And I want you to give me a big hello. I'm gonna say hello to you and I want you to call it back to me, okay? Here we go. Hello! Okay, can you say hello to me? Just like that. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna say hello, my name is Caroline, and I'm gonna call it to the very, very back of the theater, okay? And I want you to repeat after, I want you to do the same thing when I'm done, but with your name, okay? Here we go. Hello, my name is Caroline. Your turn. I think I, I think I actually heard you here at the Playhouse. That was awesome. That was really good. So now we're going to say hello, just like we did, and we're gonna say some words after it in that very same voice. So we get used to feeling the same voice with different words instead of just saying hello, okay? Hello! It was a misty, moisty morning. Okay, your turn. Hello, and cloudy was the weather. Hello, I'm 
met an old man. Your turn. Okay, good. So you get the idea. So if you have a line that you need to stay on stage that nobody seems to be hearing, all you need to do is say hello and then say your line in the very same voice and it will help you be heard and it'll keep your throat and your voice nice and healthy for other things to come. Okay, I hope you had fun today. I hope you had a good lesson and I hope this is useful. So take care everybody. I'll be back with another one.